First up is one that makes my heart sing, and that's training for longevity, something we've been doing here at AthleanX for the last 12 years. Longevity training is multidimensional. Ask yourself, are you focusing on more than just strength, or more than just hypertrophy and bodybuilding? Are you including cardiovascular conditioning? Are you working on zone two and zone five cardio, because there's a difference? Are you improving your mobility and flexibility? All of these things matter to not just look better, but feel better in 2024. Next up for one you're going to want to dive into in 2024, we're talking about cold water immersion or ice baths. Really? I thought the Gaines Goblin said to leave that one in 2023. Uh, see, that's the problem here. We always tend to throw the baby out with the bath water, no pun intended, because it's not that you can't do these ever. As a matter of fact, the benefits of cold water immersion are immense. You can get a dopamine increase that is substantially high that lasts for a very substantial amount of time that has far-reaching benefits beyond the gym. But yes, you'd want to make sure that you don't do it within four hours of your strength training because you're creating basically an anti-inflammatory suppression of the gains you were trying to create in the gym itself. Or better yet, just put them on your cardio or off days. So this one's got me excited because I've actually been utilizing them myself more recently. We're talking about this. What's that? Is that white noise? No, it's actually green noise. Green See, the noise. color of the noise matters. See, green noise is actually very good for lowering stress hormone levels and it actually can help you to cancel out busy thoughts. So if you're someone that sits up at night, Jesse, that just keeps thinking about things and your mind is running, listening to some green noise can actually help more restfully. Oh, wow. All right, now, how about this? Uh, you like I, that? I do like that one. That's actually pink noise. Ooh. So pink noise is actually good for filtering out the distractions to just give you a better night's sleep. Okay. And what about this? Ah, uh, it's another colored noise. This is it. Does it sound like you're on an airplane, maybe? It does. It's not what it is, but it's brown noise. So oh. brown noise is actually really soothing, and it can help to either create more focus when you're in a work environment, or also give you a more restful night's sleep. Really? Because brown noise, I think that has to do with pooping. Uh, oh, maybe more soothing, calming, maybe it would help somebody who's having problems with that to do that more easily. The oh. bottom line is, I'm really excited about the use of these noises and ambient noises in terms of their effects on our overall physiology, and it's something that you might want to start listening to and experimenting with in 2024 if you want to see those benefits. And the next trend in 2024 that's in, training to failure. Wait, I thought that was out. Wait, is that out? I thought. In? Was this, Wait, was it? Which, I, I don't know. See, actually guys, training to failure depends upon whether you get your information with your ears or with your eyes. Because if you get your information with your ears, you might have been told quite often that training to failure isn't necessary in 2023. But if you then looked at the very same people actually train with your own eyes, you see them training to failure. Guys, I will tell you that I've told you from the very beginning of time, I'm a believer that training to failure is a prerequisite for getting the type of results that you want to if you want to train within a reasonable amount of time. There's always the volume approach that you can take, but especially as you start to get older, the higher those volumes get, the more wear and tear you get on those joints, especially when you consider the fact that most often we underassess the amount of effort we're putting in. Having that clear delineation of, yes, I've gone hard enough and far enough is one of the best ways to ensure you've gotten to the point you need to to make the gains that you're after. So I have a trend that's out in 2024. Okay, what do you got? Overproduced videos with unsubstantiated science. Really? Really. Shots fired here, Jesse? Pew, 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 pew. Wow. No, not really. We're just keeping it real here. Let me put these away. <laughs> Need a license for that. <laughs> Listen, you've probably seen the videos where you have those, let's say, completely overdone, over graphic videos, oftentimes scripted, and meant to sort of hide the fact that the narrator themselves is the most boring person you've ever listened to and maybe doesn't even know the subject matter. I'm just, just saying. Just saying. Or, don't forget, people putting studies in their videos or referencing studies that they don't expect you to look up. I look up everything. And then it's in a different language. German, I use Google Translate. And then you find out from there that the study has nothing to do with what they're talking about. That actually happened? That actually happened. Well, let's hope that at least that's one trend that will also end in 2020. <laughs> what the hell? And so with everything that people maybe want less in 2024, there's maybe something that they want more of. And that would be more of that less produced, non-judgmental, somewhat calming or almost inviting Bob Ross approach to making fitness videos. Some titanium white and a little burn umber in it. Those videos are freaking sweet. The idea is Sam brought with him a very calm, coachable demeanor. In other words, he's going to share his experience with you and hope that you can benefit from it. My good friend Andrew Huberman, one of the most popular podcasters in the world and deservedly so because he brings actionable advice to his podcast in a very educational way. 
What I've started to do here on this channel for over 10 years now is be educational and provide you guys with actionable things that you can do, not getting into the drama that much so that I can make sure that you're benefiting from me and not just being entertained by me. Next up, I've got one that's in, actually one that's been in my life for over 30 years ever since my father, a medical doctor, developed his first omega-3 supplement. 30 years? Wow, I thought I was the biggest discovery in the last 30 years. I mean when your mom discovered she was having you and said, oops? Wow. <laughs> no, I, listen, I'm a, wow. Third, I'm a third child also, so listen. Well, we, <laughs> how, how many years separate you and your, your sibling? Uh, one. Five. Oh, yeah, yeah, so you're at least wanted. But oh, the, come on. The, the idea is, when it comes to omega-3s, guys, you really want to perk up in 2024 and pay attention. As a matter of fact, Dr. Chris McGlory, which I'll link for you over here, was in an interview with Dr. Rhonda Patrick talking about the anabolic potential of omega-3 supplements. As a matter of fact, particularly as you age, both from a protein synthetic standpoint and from a mitigation of the normal muscle loss that we see as we age is really exciting. And for me, it's got my attention even more than it already had. Next up on our list is metabolic training. Jeff, you wanna explain that one? Sure, so metabolic training is one of the three main drivers of hypertrophy. So you can build muscle with lighter weights provided you're willing to sort of withstand that uncomfortable burn. That being said, sometimes the drawbacks to that style of training are the rest times get so short that you don't really get a chance to recover enough to produce the results you're looking for. Well, a particular type of metabolic training, peripheral heart action training, something we've covered before, mm -hmm. actually allows you to see those benefits because you can alternate between upper body and lower body exercises back and forth in, say, a six exercise circuit that affords you that little extra time before going back to, let's say, an upper body movement. It's the perfect combination that a lot of Hollywood celebrities use when they're trying to recomp and lose fat and build muscle at the same time. And exploring this one in 2024 might be the most exciting one that you haven't tried yet. Next, we have one that ended 2023 on a hot streak and actually carried it right through here into 2024. We're talking about the use of long length partials in your training. Does that mean my full range of motion deadlift is absolutely useless now? Uh, not exactly. See, as is often the case, when something comes around and people start to talk about it, it oftentimes gets put into a category of extremism where people will just want to talk about that and nothing else. I literally had a guy the other day post on my Instagram that the top part of the curl where your muscles contracting is actually useless and the only thing you're supposed to be doing is the bottom one third of a curl to see your real true gains. Guys, long length partials are exciting in that they are definitely showing research supporting their use and stretching out that muscle under tension. It's also one of the reasons why eccentric overload has been working for a long time too. By the way, partials have been around for, oh, I don't know, 100 years. Though you might be excited about it, don't just use that as your only method. As is often the case when it comes to strength training guys and training as a whole, everything works. How you use it and when you apply it is what matters the most. Hey, Jeff. Yes? I know it's in 2024. What? It has to do with me. That's not possible. Oh, it's possible. And it's got the name in, in the name. In the name? In. Tro, no, 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 Jesse's no, no, intros, no, 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 run it! No, 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 no. In a world, within our world. Listen, I understand you like to make the intros, but we gotta get more professional this year, you hear me? But, but come on, man, I, listen, I just, let me do this no, one. Listen, the, the, the idea is we gotta, you gotta look the part, man. If you want the part, you gotta look the part. It's not fair. Guys, if you want the intros in 2024, leave a comment below. If you leave enough comments, Jeff can't ignore them. You gotta make that. And what's out in 2024 for fitness? Bananas and smoothies. Okay, can I clarify something here? Please do. For those that didn't watch the video, because there were a few of them. Bananas in, actually in. Smoothies in. Bananas in smoothies out. Mm. Now look, I actually really love bananas. <laughs> No, I really do. And I'm actually not even married to the science, but when some science comes along, that makes me have to think maybe twice, at least it's something that I consider. And if you're confused about what I'm talking about, Jesse, throw a link for them up in this corner so they can go watch the video for themselves. Next up for what's hot in 2024 for fitness is steroids and PEDs. Can you freaking believe it? Uh, yeah, I actually can freaking believe it because they're talked about way too much. As a matter of fact, influencers share their stack more than they do their workout advice. And that's a problem because what's happened is we've completely normalized and more importantly desensitized what steroids or SARMs or whatever other performance enhancing drug these people are using in terms of what the end effect might be on the person who is influenced to start taking them. When you've got 22 year olds in the gym saying they need TRT, we've got a big problem and we're moving in the wrong direction. So hopefully this is one trend that's out by the time we reach 2025. Barbell bench press, dumbbell bench press, dips, and push-ups. Three sets, three sets, three sets, 
Three sets, what, what 10 is repetitions. This? this is my AI generated chest workout, artificial intelligence. So it's in. It's in. Uh, not quite yet. So what is lacking is maybe some of that human expertise. Now I'm not saying that when that human expertise can merge with the technological advancements, then we might have something that we can really sink our teeth into. By the way, where's your abduction move in that workout, Jesse? Uh, it's not there. So the fact is, guys, AI not quite ready, but exciting nonetheless. I got something that's in for you. What's that? Recording yourself in the gym, something I'm quite fond of. Yes, you are. What, what is this? That is a Mandalorian uh, generating power <laughs> through the deadlift. I'm assuming that's you. Yes, that's me. Okay. Filming in the gym to capture maybe your form so you can kind of critique yourself and improve later on. If you're doing it because you're trying to celebrate a PR, all good things. I actually think it's a really, really good advancement that we've seen in the previous years and now hopefully continuing through into 2024. Just be careful that this isn't what we're talking about when we say filming in the gym. If this does happen to you, here's a hint. Just burn the tape. Don't post it. Now here's one that gets me excited, though I think it is definitely late to the party and we're talking about recovery supplements. I have been talking about recovery supplements for many years. Now this is actually one of the ones that was most popular with our MLB athletes and we're talking about anything that can help prioritize muscle recovery when sleeping. In other words, that's when our bodies will repair the damage that we incur during the day either in our sport or purposefully in the gym. And we're talking about things like LCLT or carnitine that can actually be helpful in reducing the damage and inflammation caused in those outings. We can also talk about things like L-glutamine that's also been shown to be helpful in terms of speeding up muscle recovery. The fact is, focusing on the recovery aspect of building muscle is going to be one of the most effective ways we have as natural lifters to be able to achieve those goals. Even protein itself is something that you can use to speed up muscle repair. The bottom line is, don't overlook recovery. It's the second half of the equation and I think probably the most important when it comes to making in those gains that you seek in 2024. Now here's one that actually makes me quite happy and it's worksite health promotion, something that I've been doing here for since you ever got here. True. Now some of us abuse that policy more whoa, than, whoa, uh, than whoa, others. Whoa, 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 My workouts only last about an hour. Y yet you do it for two and a half hours because we got a little bit of this and then a little of that and then maybe even a little of this or that. Well, you know what? I like to consider it a multifaceted workout. The fact that corporations are getting on board and realizing just how important connecting the overall health that their employees have to maybe even their attendance at the job and their performance while on the job is a great thing. I think we'll see more productivity and just overall healthier populations. Try to stand on one foot for 30 seconds. Okay, now close your eyes and try to do it again. You're likely not going to do so well. A skill not performed is a skill lost, and balance is a skill. If you want to see this and four other exercises that you're going to need to start doing, then I want to make sure you check out this video right here. If also you want to see the seven foods that I'm not going to eat this year, including those bananas and smoothies, I'm just saying you can watch that video here. If you haven't done so, click subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a video when we put one out. Full programs over at athletenext.com and these two. I'll see you soon.